Hello Capricorn, this is your August 2022 love guidance. We're gonna check in on your energy for the month of August. Um, we are gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna get your energy and your person's energy, Capricorn. And we'll do a little bit of a comparison there. We'll get some extra energies and Oracle guidance to end the reading. Okay, so Capricorn. This is gonna be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising signs or any prominent place in your chart. Okay, so we'll get three cards for you and three cards for your person, Capricorn. Okay, we're starting off with the devil. We're starting off with your card. Wow, Cap B. Strong start, huh? Let's see. Okay. We've got the two of cups for you, Capricorn, and the nine of cups. <laughs> That looks very good. Now let's get some of your person's energy. What is your person's energy, Capricorn? There's the lovers in reverse. You've got the fool in reverse. And you've got the six of pentacles in reverse. We do have the nine of wands under the deck. Now we are gonna go ahead and clarify these cards. Let's go ahead and see. What is happening? Happy you have the devil, which is your card. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what this energy is about. Wow, you are stuck in some kind of love um, heartbreak triangle. I don't want to say triangle. Um, let's say like a love heartbreak thing. Um, you are dealing with a loss and I feel like you feel very trapped in your situation. I feel like you want to make a decision about this and maybe that's what's causing this devil energy because I think um, right now you feel very confined. Maybe you feel very confined by the situation that you're in. Okay. Two of cups and the two. I, I can't. <laughs> what is this two of cups for your cat? Um, what is the deal here? What is this two of cups? That's a very romantic and passionate card. Um, You've got someone watching you, and I don't know why I say that, but I think as I look at the Emperor card, and as I look deep into the eyes of this Emperor, somebody's keeping an eye on you, Cappy. Um, this person may be feeling like there's competition. They may also not be feeling at peace, at rest here. I feel they feel very, they feel bothered, is what I'm gonna say. Um, they're keeping a close eye on you is what I'm getting with those eyes. Okay, um, Nine of Cups. So, Cappy, and I would have said this is you, but I don't feel it is. Um, yeah. Cappy, I see you wanting to just be happy. I, I see you wanting to be this. You want to be this energy of just enjoying, being happy, kind of living your life, maybe enjoying your family. I feel like that's what you want, but I... It's not what you have. Okay, yeah. You do not have the stability that you want. Um, there's something here where you feel incomplete, where you feel like there's something that hasn't happened for you yet. Okay. It feels like you feel like something's missing, Cappy. something um let's see what this lover's card is about what is the lover's card about for your person Kathy? wow your person right now let's see what is this oh man okay see i knew it Kathy. your person is watching you they are watching you um they're watching you um i don't know what this ending is about though Let's get some clarity on the death card. They're watching you intently. I don't... They're waiting for something to end. They're wait They're watching you, they're waiting for something to end, and I think when something has ended is when they intend to take action. So that's why right now you guys are in separation. Okay, let's see what the fool is about. 
Yeah. See, your person isn't taking any kind of risk right now. Yeah. They're not taking any kind of action. They're not taking any kind of risk, but they do want something to happen. They do have a manifestation here. Um, let's get one more card. See, they want to take action, but they're not taking action because they feel like they don't think it's the right time. It's There's a risk involved if they take action. So right now they're choosing not to, but they are very clear on taking action for sure. Maybe co action, communication. Let's see what the Six of Pentacles in reverse is about. Um, oh my gosh, what is this? Cappy. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what it is. <laughs> person's watching you closely because I think I I don't know I think they're they're seeing they're, they could be seeing someone is taking action towards you I thought this was going to come out differently but it came out here and it's under your person's energy of And I was going to say this is your person, and now they're, no, but it's not. Um, I think your, Cappy, I think your person feels like they're in competition with someone. I think they sense that there's somebody around you. Um, yeah, so I think that's why they're not taking action, because I think they sense that you have possibly, e either your person is a king of, Pentacles or a king of wands and whoever they are they feel like that other king is your person <laughs> so that seems to be what's going on here from what I'm seeing right um, but yeah let, let's get additional energies for you and your person Cappy okay okay Cappy let's go Cappy I think Cappy you were the chaser so you were the chaser, you had fear of abandonment, you did the chasing, you were codependent. Yep, there's codependency. Um, a lot of codependency on your part, Cappy. Um, but it feels like you have options. You could be still, I don't know, codependent or addicted to a connection here with your person um this reading is all over the place um <laughs> let, let's see what your person's energy is about kathy your person could be marrying you um what else yeah they're not they're not they're hiding how they really feel happy they seem to be replaying events over and over in their head they might have some kind of um perception of you of your connection and they're kind of still dealing with that this connection there is going to be a new phase to it there's going to be some kind of growth here something will happen there may be a rekindling of the connection so let's go ahead and uh, check your tarot card guidance I'm gonna be honest Cappy this one is a little bit up in the air for me for some reason but you know what something is meant to happen here um no I don't even did I get the no no this was here I'm like oh I don't know why I'm flustered with this reading. <laughs> okay, get it together. Um, here. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. I don't know what that's about. Cut, cut. Um, <laughs> Cappy, I'm still going to say the same thing. Something's meant to happen here. Something unexpected. I think you're going to be caught off guard. Like, literally, this is you. When something happens, and I don't know what that is here, you're going to, like, 
you're gonna be caught off guard here. Like you're gonna be like, oh my god, okay. Um, there's that lovers. There's a connection here where it is it, it is heading in that direction. It's going in that direction. It's just going very slowly. Um, Somebody's tr somebody's still trying to um, gain strength to, to make a decision here. And again, somebody's dealing with an ending. We, we saw that, right? Somebody's still dealing with an ending, and that, that's not quite balanced yet. Um, but have, have no doubt, whoever this is, whoever your person is, because this is your person dealing with the ending. So your person, they're very clear on their intention of coming towards you, okay? Um, they're just not sure if you're in a, in a commitment already, Capricorn. I think your person thinks that you may already be in a commitment. So right now, it feels like your person is resisting from showing any kind of emotion. I think they're viewing you, Cappy, as being very attractive and maybe not even single. Yeah, it feels like they're viewing you as being available. Um, Seats. Be your guidance but it keeps coming up with your person it's like your person's not sure if they should move in your direction or not they don't know they don't know they don't know what the right thing to do here is um i think you on the other hand you know you're not exactly seeing anything going on i feel like you feel you feel unfulfilled because you don't have that happy ending that you want right i mean you don't have that happiness that fulfillment yet you know what, Kathy? Um, somebody has deep love for you. It's just that they're not expressing it. And I think it's because they don't know if you feel the same way. They could also be possibly thinking, Kathy, that you're already in another connection, okay? Um, I would say, Kathy, hang in there because <laughs> you really have a deep fulfillment that you want here. Hang in there. Uh, whatever's meant to happen, whatever wish you have, Kathy, it, it's getting there. It's just taking a very long time. You're not seeing the opportunities yet. And it's because maybe it's not being shown to you purposely. Um, let's, start, let's try not to focus on it too much. That's what it's saying. Let's get out of our head. Let's not focus on it too much. We, we've already set the intention of what we want to happen for our life, for ourselves, for our love and everything. And so let's, let's just let it go, right? Let's not stress about it, okay? Let's let things happen, you know? Let, let's just let it go, okay? Let's not anticipate things. Let's just be open to whatever is coming our way. Um, for some reason, I feel like you're going to be faced with a choice here, Kathy. And I think you're not going to know who to choose. I think you're not going to know if you should move forward with your person or with whoever else is in your energy. Um, you're... You're not, you're not gonna, <laughs> you are not gonna be single for long, Cappy. Um, I feel you have admirers, Cappy. Uh, there are people here that are wanting to be with you. Um, I are already, I see too. So just sit in your power, stay balanced. Don't let whatever this is get to you. Do not overthink, do not obsess about this. Let it go, just continue to be you. You weren't even aware of this and it's coming in whether you know it or not. So just continue to be you. Do not focus on anything. Just focus on yourself. Try not to get into your head. Don't focus on the past. Don't think too much about the future, especially if it's obsessive. And just let it go. Let it happen. Whatever's meant to be will be. There's nothing more that you can do here. Um, let's see what the Oracle Guidance is for you here, Kathy. Again, with the codependency. Okay. Oh, wow. 
you could possibly be reconciling with your person here, Cappy. I would say disconnect from all of it <laughs> for now. Focus on your finances and career. This may be needing your attention at this time, Cappy, which is weird because you're happy. But maybe there are some issues that you need to face right now. Um, Maybe this is where your energy should be going rather than the, than whatever situation you have going on right now. And this is going to be needed for you to prepare. Now, be aware that someone is wearing a false mask, but we already saw that, right? We already saw that someone was not showing how they feel, okay? So let's just keep all of this in mind. We've processed it. Now let it go. Let it float away. Let everything happen as it should. Do not think about this too much. Okay? And we'll see each other again in September because I would really like to know what kind of progress you've got here.